to access all this information. Electrical impulses. Every cell knows and talks to every other cell. They exchange a thousand bits of information between them per second. Cells group together, forming a giant web of communication, which in turn forms matter. Cells get together, take on one form, deform, reform. Makes no difference, it's all the same. Humans consider themselves unique, so they've rooted their whole theory of existence on their uniqueness. One is their unit of measure, but it's not. All social systems we put into place are a mere sketch. One plus one equals two, that's all we've learned. But one plus one has never equaled two. There are in fact no numbers and no letters. We've codified our existence to bring it down to human size, to make it comprehensible. We've created a scale so that we can forget its unfathomable scale. But if humans are not the unit of measure, and the world isn't governed by mathematical laws. What governs all that? Film a car speeding down a road. Speed up the image infinitely, and the car disappears. So what proof do we have of its existence? Time gives legitimacy to its existence. Time is the only true unit of measure. It gives proof to the existence of matter. Without time, we don't exist. <laughs>